Hello and welcome back to Minecraft with me, DX Phoenix. As you can see, I seem to be standing where our old little workshop that I'd built previously on a stream was, and it's not here anymore. That's for good reason. Ta da! That's right, I've built this lovely new structure between episodes. And this is going to double up as the barn to keep some of the animals. Eventually, what will happen for this barn is I'll extend it out so there will be space outside for the animals to come out as well. But I'm also, and potentially, I'm going to extend it further that way and add in another few more areas like this. But the one thing that I need to put fences in as well. Uh, the, sorry, not fences, the gates in these. I've made it so the animals cannot get out when I put them in here. But these two sections here, this one and this one, are not going to contain animals. Instead, they're actually going to uh, be part of the workshop. This is going to double up as a barn and a workshop. So we're going to have machines and stuff in here. And I just need to transfer the machines from in here which can probably just about here working away these are out of power again but as you some of you may have noticed on the hotbar and on our little ritual altar or runic altar I have the stuff to create what should be an earth room and I've tested this out on another world and this should now work there we go. Let's grab that. Together, we now have Runes of Earth. And in our little crafting station I have already set up everything to make our sash there we go we now have our sash I just right click with this and we move now as if we are running as if we we're sprinting and we're not because if I sprint we move even faster now look at that now one of the things we have done um, so far is we've got our farm running, we've got a tree farm working over there, we've started Britannia, we've actually done a bit more into Britannia, uh, we've got a little bit of a ranch, we've got a start, we've got some animals and an update on the animals. I have grabbed, been going around grabbing some fluid cows and more on to the reason why I've got some of those in a moment. Now we've only got two things left to do, which is make a mob grinder and triple out ores. I think we could potentially, we can potentially get into tripling out ores now. However, there's something else I particularly want to look into. Well, you might have noticed when I opened my inventory earlier, these two books, a book and quill. And strange dreams. We'll get to strange dreams in a moment. Because uh, I just want to show you something. Leave this in here. I've actually got some Vis crystals, particularly an Ordo Vis crystal. Ordo in Thorncraft means order. And I've also got a Petitio, which means chaos. Now, I've got these, and something comes up when you actually gather them, when you actually collect a Vis crystal for the first time. Uh, your fingers tingle strangely as you handle the crystal. What does that mean? Maybe some rest will inspire you. Okay, so that comes up when you first pick up Ivy's crystal. And, uh, and that happens as I was just mining off camera in our little mine on the ground. And obviously with it being dark, raining and everything, I had to go, had to eventually sleep and you get this message you awaken from a strange dream you quickly write it down 
before the memory fades. And this brings us to this. This book that says Strange Dreams. I had the strangest dream last night. In the dream I took three of those crystals I found and ground them with a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint. The crystals had to be different types but it I did it properly the result was a strange glowing dust. In the dream I took the dust and sprinkled it on a bookcase but the dream ended before I saw what happened. I wonder should I do what I what the dream showed? I have I have the impression the dust was going to reveal something wondrous but dangerous. Okay. Now, before we can do any of that, let's just check everything. Mm. I can't actually make a bookcase. I don't have enough books. I'm just going to dump these back in here. So... What we can do, let's type in basin and drying basin from integrated dynamics, planks, iron, black dye. Those two iron. Oop, that goes there. Right, a drying basin. What that will allow us to do, when I check that one, because I only need three of these. This will, when you put rotten meat in there, turn it into leather. That's all we're going to do there. We need nine pieces of paper. Yeah, sure, I have more wood than that, maybe not. Last piece of flesh. Um, a bowl. Should be the same as the bucket. There we go. Still going to need some more. That. We'll take that drying basin. If I take that out of the drying basin, sorry. We will make our books. Now we'll make a bookshelf. We're going to plonk that down there. I'm going to close that so we don't get disturbed again. Now what was it? I need to take three of those crystals. One, two, grab that. Another handful of redstone. Seeing as we forgot about the jump. Oh, this is much faster. Could go there. That's what we'll do. We only need one of these. Gotta love this sash. Makes grabbing things in a hurry so much easier. Oh yeah, and the step assist, as you may have just seen. So one crystal, two crystal, Ooh. three crystal. Up in a bowl with some redstone using flint. Grant you some sailor's mundus. Okay, we said to sprinkle it on here. Ooh. 
We now have a Thormanomicon. Now the Thormanomicon is very similar to the book for Britannia. For Let's go Britannia. But obviously it's for Thorncraft. And we'll go first steps. You have to you have not began this research. First steps. Who would have thought just a few sprinkles of dust would have created this marvelous book? It is mostly blank, but it hints at a powerful new form of magic. Formaturgy. Firstly, I will need to study the magical world that has been shown to me. For that, near tool follow me to the book closet. Normal crafting tables won't do, however, since energy is right. Now we, in order to do any of that, we actually need some more of these crystals. Empty my inventory slot. I'll grab that red because we're probably going to need that. Hmm. One second. I don't have any more crystals, so we are going to have to go down in the mine once again. Woo. And that's where Phoenix comes unstuck and gets killed. As I said, guess it comes unstuck and gets killed. I do know there is some down here. Oh, this seems to be growing. That'll be enough. Almost certain we will not need any more. What I'll do is when we get to the top of here. We munch on this bread. Ow. Don't come knocking on my door. Right, I need some redstone. That should be enough. Right, so come back to this knowledge, theory crafting. Right, yeah, but how do we make the arcane workbench? She's using Sailor's Mondays, I'm assuming. On a mundane crafting table. Okay. Well, we can do that. I just so happen to have one of those in there with a load of cobble. There is our arcane crafting table. I'm just going to move it. To there. Okay. That's the arcane crafting table. Observations, theories. Let's go back to here. The oh. right, glass, gold, and one of each crystal. That. Ooh, that might be difficult. Right, so we know how to make that. Hmm. Let's 
Okay, so what am I missing? Download auto. Okay, so I'm miss I'm needing f literally four more crystals. Mm. Right. Now where do they have to be put? Oh, they go in there. Okay. Right, so we've made a start into Thorngraph. I'm just going to sleep. Yeah, so we've started Thorngraft. At least. That'll be something to work on over the next few episodes. I'm going to need to, between episodes... Rude. Make sure there's no more around. Right, between episodes, I'm going to have to go and mine up a load of these crystals. Just to continue this, because... And I should have checked this before this episode. And I should have known exactly what's needed to progress on. So we've started, we've got a brand new crafting table. What's the matter? I do like it. But I've always liked the Thorn crafting table. I've always thought the aesthetic's quite nice. Um, really should be expanding this farm a bit more. One thing I will say is looking. Uh, we'll come over back to the fluid cows. As you can see, there's a load of different ones. You've seen a manilium one, which is that purple one at the back being pushed. There's a Jellicariophium one here, which is the stuff comes at this moment in time is very difficult to make. Sigmelum, again at the moment, probably difficult, but probably isn't. However, this one, the Molten Vibrant Alloy. Is difficult to make. I have not found any Enderman, and I only have two Ender pearls, which I've actually only found in a dungeon. And what for those of you that haven't played much Ender IO or played with much Ender IO in modern Minecraft, they make well, vibrant alloy makes these. I'll just check the recipe for you. So you just use two, three. It's free vibrant alloy, and you can make eight ender energy conduits. And you can see how much power they push out 20,000 compared to their normal energy ones, which require ener energetic alloy, which do 5,000. The way you make the energetic alloy, when I found it, is redstone, glowstone, and gold. That is used in an alloy smelter again with an ender pearl to make the vibrant alloy. Now, we don't need to go through that process with that cow. Especially when I just click on there. I have a block. I have nine more ingots. I've got some more in there. I can always milk that cow and get more. I believe I have some in here. I do. Because I have been milking the cow off camera as well. Getting more. And in order to make that with those three you need the conduit binders. You smelt, the con you smelt up binder composite. Which is literally just the same materials used to make grout. Just in a different format. And these are one of the fastest energy transfer conduits in modern Minecraft. It's not the fastest, but it's one of the fastest. And it will be used a lot in here as well. And we will be wanting to milk more of these cows at some point. Where's this done? 
Once it's done, so it off. Right, our resources do seem to be coming along quite nicely in this department. One more thing we're going to do before we finish is we're going to do a little bit of an upgrade to these tools. As you can see, I've got a load of lapis. I'm not just going to upgrade and again these are going to be moved into there as well we're going to upgrade a little pit and I do apologize it's going to be loud by adding lucky to it by using lapis so we'll keep it at look two for now Think. We're going to add it to our sword. Actually, no. We're going to try and increase our pick a bit more. The pick needs it mostly. Let's grab the rest of our lapis. And think of this. Whoop. As fortune on a normal pick or looting on a sword okay and if I can find something to hit with it in fact, let's clear some of my inventory something around here right so we've got two Raw chickens from that. You'd normally get one. So, this is. It's probably heavier on resources than enchanting. Doing it this way. They go in there. But. When it comes to lapis. Other than blue dye and decoration, what else was it used for? Whereas now they have the use of putting a cool putting these putting this enchantment or technically it's a modifier in these tools on here. Right. So I think we're gonna call it there for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It's been a little bit crazy, just running around doing all sorts of different bits, chasing after certain materials. Again, I apologise we couldn't get more into Thorncraft. I'm going to try and we're going to try and get more into it in the, over the next few episodes. It might not be next episode because I do also want to get uh, machines and everything moved into our barn behind me, and also get the cows moved into there. And if you've enjoyed the episode, hit like, share, comment down below things you want to see me work on in future episodes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.